What is up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you could probably tell by the caption is seven outfits I wore last week. Basically, I thought I'd showcase to you every single look I wore so it gives you guys some inspiration to take into your following week on how to dress for different occasions, whether it be going out for meetings, going out with friends, going out for brunch, Everything that I did and each outfit I wore, I did something specific so I can showcase to you what outfit I wore for a specific event or do that I went to. So sit tight and enjoy this video guys because it's going to be a good one full of some sick looks which I hope you like. Peace. <laughs> So guys, outfit one, I'll keep each one of these up to around 30 seconds each. I don't want to bore you too, too much. But my first outfit here is a really light attire. I tell you what, I really like this, especially as we're transitioning into the spring season now. And the lighter colors are starting to come into my wardrobe as they should be yours as well. And you know, it's just nice to wear some lighter pieces. Um, I don't feel afraid ever to wear pink. Pink is such a bold color and especially this kind of light pink as well, it really stands out. But the main piece here has to be the cardigan. As you can see, it's such a beautiful fit. It has a really nice kind of like, uh, like I don't even know how to explain it, like cat, cat fur kind of feel, but it's, it's amazing and it fits really, really well. So I thoroughly recommend checking it out. I styled it up with some Serge Denim jewelry and also some jewelry from Rotary, which is where my watch is from. It just adds that cool effect to the look as well. So a metal watch is ideal. But let me know what you guys think of this look. It's one of my favorites and I tell you what, it is just perfect for spring season. I actually wore it in the end to see some friends just casually and they seem to like it as well. Now then, going on to outfit number two. Now this is a slightly different and a very bold look. I actually wore this for a photo shoot because I just really wanted to showcase the jacket which is from Boda Skins. But I thought the look is a really cool street style look. I wore it with the Ralph Lauren cargo pants and cargo pants are really in at the moment. They're a really versatile pair. And also you can't see your legs as well. Okay, that's dead, dead banter, but hey. <laughs> but if you wanna turn heads on the street and just look a little bit different, then this is definitely a really cool outfit. It's really comfortable. You can wear it to a bar, you can wear it to see friends. In fact, I actually wore this one to see some friends as well this week, and they really vibed off the jacket especially. Because I think that's like the cool kind of bomber style at the moment, these jackets with a little bit of leather on them. They're really head turner pieces. So definitely worth checking out. I love the trousers, they're Ralph Lauren and they style cargo trousers up really, really well over on their website so you can get some inspiration from them too. But I'd like you to stick with me. <laughs> uh, my jewellery pieces are from Taitosi and Fossil and they just complement the black kind of attire to this outfit. Swiftly moving on to outfit number three, I actually wore this outfit specifically for an event last week with Rolls Royce. I was given the privilege to drive one of their brand new cars around London, which was such a cool experience, but I wanted an outfit for the day, which is a little bit smart and a little bit casual, but shows off kind of a gentleman style, because obviously Rolls Royce is a particularly gentleman style car. And this is what I went for. Um, I thought black and brown complements each other really, really well. And you guys should never be afraid of that either. It was a good outfit. And if you guys haven't already seen on my Instagram, make sure you go check it out now because the car's beautiful and I think the outfit is too. So as you can tell, look number three is very similar to look number four, especially the bottom half, which I kept exactly the same. I just decided to swap the jumper for a roll neck and also put on the Reese overcoat, which is a beige one as well. And I had to wear a umbrella for this day because it was quite wet and windy in the UK. So hence why the boots really worked well, um, especially in the wet weather. I wore an Apple watch as well to stay connected. Obviously it's important when I'm out for meetings that I stay connected to my socials, to other people trying to contact me because obviously my job is primarily online. So this is a particularly smart outfit, especially if you've got meetings whilst running around town, the looser trousers, and the merino wool knitwear just makes it that extra bit comfortable, especially top to an overcoat. You're not gonna to be too hot, especially as you transition from winter to spring. So I'm getting ahead of myself here with the talking, but moving on to outfit number five, guys, is such a sick look. It was my friend's 30th birthday and I decided to wear this look. And I tell you what, I stood out like a sore thumb in the green cardigan. I've worn this over on my Instagram in a slightly more casual context, but I thought for a night out, the black turned up trousers from Reese and this bold green cardigan and the big boots look slightly military, but it was such a cool look as well. 
I am here for it and these cardigans are really coming into style, especially for the spring season where you can layer them really nicely. They're not too hot and they're not too cold. So definitely worth getting in on these cardigans, guys. If you guys know me, you know by now how much I love a navy top and some light blue denim with some high tops. And this look is just one of my favorites. These V-neck um, sleeveless tops are really in fashion at the moment. If you saw the latest GQ magazine, you'd have seen them in there a lot. And you can find some really, really good ones at such good prices as well. This one's only from River Island, but you can find them at such a low end price, such as like high street stores like Next or Abercrombie, or you can find some like really expensive ones from brands like Ami, de, uh, Ami Paris or Lacoste or other brands like that, but definitely worth having a few in your wardrobe, guys. Moving on to the final outfit, guys, and I think I wore this over the weekend. I went for a brunch with friends and then I was mooching around town, seeing other friends. I think I went for a roast dinner that day as well. And this look is just a really cool street style weekend laid back kind of look. The jacket is just really cool. I think if you're on a hangover, which I probably was, then this is the perfect jacket just to flick on. The cargo trousers are really comfortable. And listen, you're gonna look like you haven't just jumped out of bed. You look really stylish wearing this along the uh, streets of London. So definitely worth picking up a cool pair of cargo pants and also having a sick jacket like this in your wardrobe. And that is a wrap guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope each outfit that I showcased to you today has given you a little bit of inspiration about how you can go on different events or different days and choose some different bits. There was pops of color in there, there was smart, there was casual, there was street style. I think we had it all, which is quite cool. I think it's really nice to have a, a really versatile wardrobe and mix some pieces up so you can go into your day looking completely different and completely fresh. So when you see different people or new people or even the same people, they just think, damn, that guy's got style. Anyway, I hope that gives you some inspo. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button. It massively helps me out. But also, I've left each of the links to all these items in the description box below. So if you do like any of the clothes, you can shop it there. But until next time, guys, peace. We're actually off to Paris, so my vlog after this will probably be Paris, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>